हे गाइज इट्स क्रिथलीन वेलकम बैक टू सिद्धू ब्लॉग सो गाइज एज आई टोल्ड यू अर्लियर कि मैं बिल्कुल फॉलो कर ली कर रही हूँ कि क्या हो रहा है पाकिस्तानी इलेक्शन में देखो जबकि क्लियरली हमें यही बात पता है दैट पी टी आई इमरान खान बैक पी टी आई इंडिपेंडेंट कैंडिडेट्स उन्होंने क्लियर मेजोरिटी ली है लेकिन फिर भी ऐसे न्यूज़ चैनल्स हैं जो ऐसी चीज़ें दिखा रहे हैं कि इशूज़ बढ़ाने के लिए शायद एंड आज मैं ऐसी वीडियो पे रियाक करने वाली हूँ जिसमें जो इमरान खान सपोर्टर्स हैं दे हैव टेकन टू द स्ट्रीट्स और वो बोल रहे हैं कि जो पोलिंग हुई है जो इलेक्शंस हुए वो रिक्ट है हमने पहले भी इसके बारे में बात की जबकि क्लियरली जो नंबर्स हैं वो इमरान खान को सपोर्ट कर रहे हैं लेकिन ऐसी स्टेटमेंट्स भी इशू हो रही हैं कि फलानी पार्टी फलानी पार्टी अब कोलेशन में गवर्नमेंट बना रही है सो आई डोंट नो वट इज़ गोइंग ऑन अगर आप लोग को क्लैरिटी है तो आप लोग कॉमेंट सेक्शन में बताएं मुझे बिल्कुल लेकिन उससे पहले अगर आपने मेरे YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया वो तो जल्दी से चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर ले ताकि ऐसी ही अमेजिंग वीडियोस आ सकें एंड यू चेक एट माई इंस्टा हैंडल इज वेल जल्दी से इसके ऊपर याद करते हैं Who will be Pakistan's next prime minister? Today is yet another day when this question remains unanswered. No political party has secured a clear majority in the February 8th election, but both Imran Khan hmm. and Nawaz Sharif have claimed victory, vying to form the country's next government. Results are still awaited in three of the 266 constituencies, and the result hmm. in one constituency in Punjab has been withheld. So far, the independent okay. candidates linked to Imran Khan's PTI. sit comfortably at 101 seat victory now sharif's pmln is second in the race with the party securing 75 seats bilawal bhutto zardari's ppp is trailing behind the two mm. with 54 seats no single party has the required majority to form the government this has led to a hung parliament pti has refused to negotiate with anyone imran khan remains their prime ministerial candidate and the jailed leader claims that his party has swept with a two thirds majority mm. alleging that massive rigging that in the results has stolen their mandate remember this comes after the former prime minister was granted bail by an anti terrorism court in 12 cases linked to the attacks on military installations by his supporters in may as the results get delayed further hundreds demonstrated outside the election commission in karachi imran khan supporters accused the administration of interference in the poll process mm. Pakistan's President Arif Alvi has also expressed his frustration over the postponed election mm. results. The PTI leader stated that if the electronic voting machines or EVMs had been in use during the elections the nation would not be facing this crisis. The president said that if the machines were used the total of every candidate would have been available mm. within 5 minutes after polls were closed. Meanwhile PMLN yeah. has asserted victory on technical grounds citing PTI's disqualification from the polls for not complying with electoral laws. However, to form a government, the party will be forced to cut deals with rivals or independents. There have been reports of leaders from several parties arriving in PMLN's power base in Lahore for talks. Pakistan's Army Chief General Asim Munir has backed Nawaz Sharif's plea to his rivals to help him form a coalition government. He has asked the country's polarized political leadership to form a unified government of all democratic forces. As far as government formation is concerned the path to a coalition government is fairly clear the law mandates that independent candidates have to choose a party within 72 hours of the election results being declared now the question is between Nawaz Sharif and Bilawal Bhutto who will the block of independent candidates choose to form a government with there is also a possibility that the PMLN and the PPP can sideline the majority of Imran Khan loyalists and form an alliance of their own an alliance that will inherit pakistan's financial crisis remember the spate mm -hmm. violence and terror attacks have pushed pakistan further into an already unstable political atmosphere and people across the country continue to hope for a quick resolution mm -hmm. yeah 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 and way forward and the progressive attitude 
uh, because democracy is very important and we are right now in a very, very critical uh, situation, uh, both economically, security-wise, uh, and on many other levels. So Pakistan political parties really need to sit together for all the latest news, download the We on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So basically, the thing is that people have felt that the elections are rigged, the EVMs are not in paper ballot, they may feel that there is a rigging, there is a rigging, there is a rigging, that there are so many people, thousands of numbers, they are coming out and protesting. What are they protesting about? We want justice. Because those who were represented, who wanted to vote, who had voted, शायद उनको ये आगे आने नहीं दे रहे एंड बाकी जो दोनों पार्टीज हैं वो भी कोई क्लियर कट उनकी मेजॉरिटी नहीं उनको भी कोलेशन गवर्नमेंट ही बनानी पड़ेगी बट जो लोगों की चॉइस ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव है वो काफ़ी क्लियर है कि वो इमरान खान है एंड लेट्स होप फॉर द बेस्ट कि क्या होता है आपके पास कोई भी इन्फॉर्मेशन आती है डू लेट मी नो द कॉमेंट सेक्शन पर लो मैं भी क्लोजली इस इन्फॉर्मेशन को देखती रहूँगी सो गाइज दिस इज़ माई रिएक्शन दिस इज़ इज द ब्लॉग साइनिंग ऑफ एलाफिक